What's going on, Wastelanders? Draco Invictus here with another Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm at the Kingsport Lighthouse. That's located in the upper northeast corner of your map, uh, just southeast of uh, the Museum of Witchcraft. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is fixing this roof. Now, normally you could rug glitch in and you can come up to about, oh, about right here or so with a floor. And it just doesn't, I mean, you have all this extra elevation here. The problem with this location is not the fan blades, but the base of the fan. That section right there. That is the problem that's going to give you fits when you try and rug glitch in a, uh, a roof into here. But I found a way around it. It's not perfect, but it certainly gives us extra height. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump down here. We're going to come into our wood structures. We're going to grab a floor. Uh, let's uh, just start with a small floor. It'll be easier to maneuver that way. And we want to position this where ultimately we can put a rug in front of it. Uh, that looks about good right there. And now we'll come grab our wall. Come on, wall, get into place. Oh, I had it too. There it is. All right. So now that we have that in place, we want to grab an upper shack floor. This is the upper shack floor. It's double thick, in case you guys didn't know. So we're going to throw that on there. And before we do anything else, let's grab some stairs just so that we can get up top. Because we're going to stack our floors. So we come back over here and uh, we're going to throw down one of these over here, one of these over here one of these over here and the only reason I put those there was so that it this floor that I'm trying to lay down doesn't clip into anything else and the stairs may be giving me a problem so let's go ahead and get rid of those and put this there as well now we can go ahead and place our stacked floor with impunity and I am lining it up against the the seam of the floors that I've got going on. And we are pretty close there. Oh man, that's going to be like... Yeah, that's perfect, right? There. And we'll come take a look. As a matter of fact, if we move off of it, you can see I'm not quite there yet. But how about over here? No, I need to spin it just a hair. Oh, not that much of a hair. There we go. Now we'll take a look again. Oh man, we were so close. We're gonna just give that just a little bit of a pull there. And now, and see what I'm doing is I'm moving my cursor off of the wood so that it doesn't highlight. Because when it highlights, it, make the, it makes the edge a little bit thick and I can't see it. So now I'm just looking, I'm looking here, but I'm not putting my cursor there so that I can see that edge. And that is gonna be good. Okay, so we don't need these anymore. This one will pull up because we want it on the same level. This one we can get rid of. Now this house, notice, it's not very wide. It's actually one and a half floors wide, but it's three floors long. So now we need to grab our small floors. Let's go with these here. And we're gonna run those all the way down the edge. And the reason why I didn't Put another big board here is because our fan kind of sits right in this area so we're gonna leave that gap open. okay so this is what we should have when we're all said and done we're three floors up three floor thicknesses up with a gap in the middle now we're gonna go ahead and grab a rug small rugs work really well for this we'll go ahead and put that there and now we'll go ahead and grab our whole structure. And if you guys don't know, if this is the first video that you've ever seen with the rug glitch, to do that once you place your rug, you press and hold on your select button, and that will get it to work. And as you can see, the wall was white there, and then it, it'll go red, and then white, and then red. And right now I'm using the beams of the wall inside. I'm measuring my uh, to make sure that I'm even and straight. And that is, we're going to call that good right there. So I'm going to place that in. Now if you can see, 
we have gone much higher than we'd normally be able to by a couple floor thicknesses. But we still have this hole here. We have this gaping hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab another floor. And we want to grab a full floor. Not one of the small ones. And not a upper shack floor. We just want the regular old shack floor. We're going to get it close to this corner as we can. Where we can still put a uh, wall. Where we can still snap a wall. So we may actually be, yeah, I see that probably a little bit close. We'll check it. Yeah, see, it's not actually snapping into place. So we'll go ahead and back off on this just a hair. And yeah, maybe a little bit more. There we go. Now our wall snaps right into place. Now we want to go grab an upper shack floor. And it should snap right to the top of that wall and hide that fan. And in doing so, it totally encloses our roof. But, see, and we can actually delete this section of roof here. Okay, so now we're much higher than we normally would have been if we had only gone with the regular rug glitch because we had to get around that fan. So if we take a look at it, it's much more enclosed than it used to be. But the problem is, is you can't go any higher because those cross beams up there, let me show you. I'll destroy what I just built just to destroy you, uh, show you guys. These cross beams here also don't like it when you try putting a floor through them. So you can't go any higher because then these beams get in the way. Trust me, I tried it four thick, I tried it five thick, I tried going over the top, it wasn't working. Three is the thickness to go, and then you use the double shack floor to plug that little hole there. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you fix the roof at the Kingsport Lighthouse. And until my, until next time, Wastelanders, stay safe out there. Hey, and if you like this video and want to see more videos like it, please subscribe. Click the subscribe button down below. I do great tips and tricks videos all throughout the week. I'm doing a Let's Build series. I'm trying to put out probably four or five videos a week at least. Sometimes I'll get some crazy idea in the middle of the night and I'll come and make a five or ten minute video about it. So stay tuned, like this video if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button down below, and until next time Wastelanders, stay safe out there. This is Draco Invictus saying see ya!